So I'm putting AstroTurf in the backyard so that Kaya can poop and pee and run to her desire. You know, get her fill in. Are you going to gate up the pool? No. As a matter of fact, I've already had her in the backyard. She doesn't f*** with the pool, so it's great. Now, of course, I do know that uh, the AstroTurf gets like real uh, real hot in the, in the sun, but it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm just going to... I'm not going to literally leave her out there anyway, so who cares? Uh, you know, I, but I know. Have you had turf before? My sister got it for a dog and it got f disgusting. Honestly, don't recommend it. No, it has to be specific like puppy turf uh, or dog turf, which is what I got. Astro turf has to be like very specific. It has to have like porous. It has to have holes in it. I mean, it's f better than the concrete that I have currently, this ugly ass concrete, okay? Why not real grass? I don't have a dog, so I don't know benefit. Uh, real grass is like a lot of work dude i don't want to water it and shit and astro turf in and of itself is also not exactly great for the it's not great for the environment either but i'm in california my lawn is just not big enough for like straight up grass either you know what i mean it's less water maintenance grows better and doesn't turn yellow like normal grass would yeah i'm bro it doesn't rain out here you know what i mean it doesn't rain your backyard is all concrete what the f is la yes Welcome to Los Angeles. You would be shocked to find out that a lot of backyards are just straight concrete out here. It is a very confined space, so like it's literally not worth to have grass on it. Yo, did Kaya grow in like two days? She's huge. Yes, she did. She f***ing grew like crazy. I cannot figure out how to get her to stop. Like I think because of the heavy machinery in the backyard, the noise, I put her in her crate when I went to work out this morning, and she pissed in her crate i think i can't even tell because the crate is like all black and i don't know if she's just like slobbering everywhere or if she pissed in it i'm also doing like uh you know leash training as well you know i take her out with a leash she's good when i'm around her she doesn't pee or poop in the house like she literally had z i think she i didn't even think about it but i'm pretty sure she had zero accidents outside to uh yesterday it was yesterday was like a zero accident day which is crazy so good for her you're gonna take kaya to the dog groomer shaking my head canceled yes i will 100 percent take her to the dog groomers eventually i am a little worried apparently like dog groomers sometimes go wild with it and they will like cut your dog's hair and shit without asking you and it's like i didn't even you know where, where'd that come from like I, i'm a little worried about that She's double coated, which means like uh, she has the regular fur, which sheds. And then she has like human like hair, which doesn't shed. And apparently if, if they accidentally shave that hair that she has, like it'll never grow again. It's not that it doesn't grow back. It just grows back slower. Yeah. You have to brush to prevent matting. That's why they shave. Yeah. I work with dogs for years. To be honest, one of the best ways to address her puppy behavior, peeing, barking might be t about taking her to doggy daycare every now and then. No, no, no. I'm going to do that 100%. Um, I'm just not doing it yet because her, her final, her final shots are, have not happened yet, but her final shots are going to be in like a week. And then as soon as that happens, I'm shipping her ass to doggy daycare. Are you kidding me? Does she know any tricks? Yeah, she knows sit, stay. She's not very good at stay. She knows sit, she knows stay. I'm teaching her paw right now. She knows down. She also fetches on her own, which is really interesting. Like I, because she's such a f***ing stubborn asshole, I really thought it would be difficult to train her to play fetch. But she literally started doing it on her own. I'm not even kidding. Like she loves fetch. Dogs like to fetch. Uh, uh, let me tell you, teaching my pit bull originally how to fetch was a profoundly difficult endeavor, okay? And there are plenty of dogs that don't like fetching. Anyway, what is this? My puppy jumps all over people. That's not good. All right, so I'm working with Dixie. Hi, Dixie. Who is Kaya has started doing this as well. A really cute puppy, right? But look, this is what's happening. I love these dogs that these puppy trainers always have in their videos because like they get it on their own magically after the third try meanwhile this psychopath behind me is literally the most stubborn dog on the planet and will just keep doing it regardless like does not care i can move to a different zip code and this mother will still be jumping okay so there is definitely an issue sometimes with like how difficult it is obviously all dogs inevitably get a little bit uh, inevitably get tired it just depends on how long it takes. But unfortunately with Kaya, she just never gets tired. As you guys know, especially with like the barking and shit, I'm sure you've seen it. Like you've you've seen it behind me. When she gets in one of those motherfucking moods, dude, holy crap, dude. She is so stubborn.
Also, this is the best. When she's, like, just laying and chilling behind me and, like, tired and quiet and, you know, in baby mode. This is when she's at her best. There's another type of tired with her, which is not the best. That type of tired is when it's late at night. You know, I've, I've done so much. She's, like, overstimulated at first. Calm her down. Play with her. It's playtime. Do some fetch. Do some exercising. And then she gets into this mood where she's, like, ornery. Where she's tired, but she still wants to stay up and play. And she's very stubborn, so you can't really, like, wear her out. And then she gets grumpy and is, like, literally just, like... Like, I can tell she's tired, but then she starts... She gets overtired, and she's, like, uh, you know, getting more nippy, not listening. Like a toddler, literally. Exactly like a toddler. Anyway, so that's, like, that's what's going on. So, folks, uh, new mania just dropped. We're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, let me just give you a brief. <laughs> what the f is this dog doing, bro? This is such. This cannot be comfy. Oh, thanks, mom. Kaya da çıkmak isteyecek büyük ihtimalle. Onu bir çıkarabilir misin? Ne yapsın sonra geri getiririz. Or it, that cage ain't gonna hold her for long. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll f get a bigger one. Oh. Kaya. Kaya. Dude, this girl needs treats pronto. They're in the market for another bike. Anyway. Uh, where was I? Where the f*** was I? Eating, reading chat, listening to news, checking his dog. Bro, you were the definition of ADHD. That's why I'm such a great streamer it works very well with my personality flaws okay anyway Somebody woke up. Um, the people saying, does this mean Beto would have won as well? Or can we add a charge of election tampering? Good to know. You're out of your f***ing mind. What do you... Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. Dude, no. Fuck. God damn it! Oh. oh my god, dude. She was licking and pawing at the door. This one's on you, my guy. No, she wasn't. Shut the f up. Parasocial motherfuckers, brother. Holy fuck. Battleground states that they were. She wasn't doing that at all. She was eating food, you an idiot god damn it why are people parasocial for my dog dude how are you that way she woke up she ate some food and immediately walked over and took a fat piss no warning bark nothing whatsoever look she walked over circled one time and just went that's that's her pissing you gotta let her out every once in a while oh thanks man i had no idea i can't believe you got me vod reviewing my own dog's habits as you like defend the dog when you're just wrong bye everybody bye
Bye. Here, say bye, Kaya. Bye. Bye.